Good morning students and happy Friday. So you have a quick worksheet on multiplication in equations using variables, except this time it does give you the multiplication symbol. That's okay. We know that it means the same whether or not the multiplication symbol exists. So if we're going according to our book, we would see probably something like D6 equals 12 or 6D equals 12. And then you have to solve it like that. But it's the same thing. D times 6 equals 12. What number times 6 is 12? So hopefully you'll get 2 times 6 is 12. So that means that D equals 2. So just a difference that yesterday in our book, it didn't give us the multiplication symbol. It gave us the letters right next to the numbers, which also means multiplication. Here on this practice worksheet, it does give you the multiplication symbol, but it is the same process. Just replace the letter with the number that makes the equations true. And this one should be quick. Of course, you let me know if you need anything, if you need a one-on-one, -on -one, if you need a small group session for math, and I will be glad to help you. You can also look to yesterday's video for some sample questions that we did yesterday, just in case you forgot a step or two. And um, we will continue on with our algebraic equations next week. So here for Friday, you have a do you recall exercise. So as you know, do you recall means that we're remembering things we've already learned in the past few weeks. So on the top, we have a do you recall exercise for verbs. So you're going to read each sentence carefully. And if the sentence is correct, so that means that you should probably read them out loud to see if they sound right at the very least. If they're correct, you're going to write C on notebook paper. If it contains an error, you're going to rewrite the sentence correctly. So if it contains a mistake, don't just write error or mistake. You're going to rewrite it depending on if the verbs are used correctly or not. And since this was from a couple of units ago, it should be pretty easy. Then you have a do you recall exercise on pronouns. Read these out loud and if it's correct, again, write C. And if it's not, you rewrite it. And then for modifiers, and we've done so many kinds of modifiers, yet again, read them. If it's correct, C. And if it's not, rewrite it. And you can look back to our previous unit if you need hints. But usually, just by reading it out loud, you'll get the idea of what is wrong with it. And if not, we can go over them together. And um, I would love to have a small group if needed just to have some... Uh, reminders or uh, recalling the units from the uh, from the past. So just let me know if you're having a little bit of trouble even after you read them out loud and of course I will help you.